Galaxy Invader handhelds or Fire Away or Cosmic Blaster or just plain Invader depends on where you grew up really uh, and who was licensing it from the original Japanese developer. They were a series of electronic games from the early 1980s. Um, I think my brother still has our one. Um, today we have a DIY project I put together to build a brand new vertical handheld console in a similar style to the uh, old Galaxy Invader machines, but running a wide selection of 90s and 2000s uh, vertical arcade shooters. The new Galaxy Invader has a 5.5 inch AMOLED vertical display and is running on a Raspberry Pi 3A, which is the, the little Raspberry Pi. There are four main buttons, uh, start and select, and a custom made digital joystick. The whole thing's powered off a 10,000 milliamp hour battery with type C quick charging and a percentage readout on the bottom uh, to know how much juice you have left. Battery life seems to be about three to four hours. The internal amplifier can get quite loud and currently volume has to be adjusted inside RetroPie. I'll add a volume wheel at some point. Software is a nice vertical themed RetroPie with a custom overlay I made to make the most of the 16x9 vertical display as most games of this era would have been rotated 4x3 or similar displays, then that left a bit of room to put a marquee on the top. Being an OLED display means that the nice deep blacks make this feel a little less like part of the normal display. As with all my designs, they're not made as an easy download and recreate thing. I spend a lot of time cutting, rearranging and altering my 3D prints after the event. Um, saying that, I will include my design files to download in the video description along with a list of parts that went into this if anyone's looking to create something similar. So enough talking about it, let's explore some of the awesome games on here in a handheld format that really fits the way they should be played. So a few issues still to resolve, obviously um, still reporting low power um, sometimes at the top so still need to deal with that one a little bit um, in terms of the batteries and the power getting to the board and obviously how much power the screen is using. Um, that sort of manifests itself in some slowdown sometimes and some audio glitching and some other bits and pieces due to just slower emulation as it's throttling. Um, so a little bit of that to resolve but overall quite pleased with how it is coming together. I'm sure I'll put an update at some point out once we've got um, a few other things added into it, uh, headphone jacks and volumes and various other things and obviously sort out the power issues. But, um, but yeah, overall quite pleased with it so far.